I'm the Cheshire Cat. And I'm Saul Goodman. And this, and this is, is Saudi, Saudi Daisy, Daisy High, High School, School News. News. Since the start of the 2024-2025 school year, Hamilton County has received and taken action upon several school threats. Just last week, Saudi Daisy Middle School received a threat from a parent claiming to burn that school down, according to the Chattanoogan.com, Sarah Morton. The suspect was arrested and charged with her bail set to $10,000. At the end of August, there were eight reported threats to Hamilton County schools. Since then, there has been at least two more. Hello Saudi Daisy, I'm Brennan and I'm Dale bringing you this week's weather. Today we'll be seeing highs in the 70s and lows in the 60s along with a 70% chance of rain. Highs will go into the 80s and lows in the 60s throughout next week until Wednesday. Congratulations to our homecoming court. Monday is tourist day. This is the kickoff for our Hensley hunt during T2. You will be able to pick up paper for the door contest. You can also pick up your buggy from room 220 at this time. From 6 to 8 p.m. there will be a community carnival and bonfire at the school. Tuesday is Senior Citizens Day. During T2 time you'll have the chance to work on your doors and buggies. There will also be games during this time. Powder puff tickets will go on sale during lunch. Tickets are on sale for $3 and $5 at the gate. Wednesday is Iconic Duo Day. During T2 time, you will be able to watch the Homecoming Court video and vote for your Homecoming Queen. During lunch, Powder puff tickets will be on sale. Wednesday evening, there will be a Color War sponsored by Saudi Daisy Young Life. Thursday is Decades Day. Freshmen are 50s, sophomores are 60s, juniors are 70s, and seniors are 80s. And the teachers will be dressing up as a 90s theme. There will be games during T2 that you can participate in. Powder puff tickets will be on sale during lunch. And this will be the last time tickets are $3. The powder puff game is at the soccer stadium starting at 6.30. Friday is Blue and Gold Day. We will have a pep rally as well. This is when we will be doing the buggy parade and more. That night, Men of Joy take on Sequoia. Kickoff is at 7.30. All throughout lunch this week, there will be a photo booth set up so you can take photos with your friends. Welcome back to Entertainment Fridays. My name is Ben Schneider, where we show you guys the newest and latest music, movies, and more. Hope you guys are enjoying Hoko Week, but now to move on to the music portion. Last week, Quavo and Ty Dolla Sign released their single, If I Fall, for the new Transformer movie. In the beginning of this week, Juice World and Young Thug's EP, The Pre-Party, came out. Maybe this is a pre-EP? To The Party Never Ends, an album that should have been released three years ago. Yesterday, Tate McRae released her single, It's Okay, I'm Okay. Shawn Mendes' single, Nobody Knows, also came out yesterday. Lastly, today, Key Glock's album, Glockavilly, is coming out. Next, for the top five movies of this week, we have Beetlejuice, 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 at number one. Reagan at number two, Long Legs at three, Blink Twice moves down to four, and Alien Romulus moving down to number five. Also, the Minecraft live action movie was announced to come out on April 4th, 2025. Let's get right into the celebrity drama of this week. Since it's football season, we have very exciting news concerning the Super Bowl. Kendrick Lamar is performing at the halftime show. Let's hope he plays Not Like Us one more time to cook Drake. Nicado Avocado, a famous mukbang creator, makes a video saying his weight gain a few years ago was all a social experiment to see how people would react. He made his video after a major weight loss, claiming himself to be a villain and that he's always 
two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. This video is oddly disturbing, but at least he's not 500 pounds anymore. On another note, last week, rich homie Quan passed away from an unknown cause. Rumors say he overdosed, but we don't know for sure yet. In the hot Tua girl, Haley Welch just released her new podcast, Talk Tua. Thank you for joining us. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time.